goldfish take a lot of work. Now you can see here that um, the tank is a little cloudy. I just did a water change. Got about a 35 uh, gallon tank here. Still trying to nurse this fish by giving him uh, chickpeas because he's got a stomach issue. He keeps floating up there. These fish are about five years old. I think four or five years old. Got the Marine Land uh, Penguin. Penguin bio wheel. You see the wheel spinning there. I had to uh, clean out the impeller, clean out the tubes today. Bio wheel. I've actually found that this uh, filter with the one uh, bio wheel works better than the other one. I, ha I have the, uh, my brother actually gave me this one. Brother actually gave me that one. I had the, um, Let's see. I had this one originally. Where is it? The one with the two, the two bio wheels. Had a lot of trouble with that one though. A lot of trouble. For some reason the water was never clean. And as soon as I started using this filter, fish died. And I don't know what it was. And the water was crystal clear at one point, but then they started dying. And I started using this one, had a lot better luck. I don't know what it was. This is the one I'm using now. But I was using that one. I got this. My, my brother gave me some good advice. So I started using the uh, Freshwater Master Test Kit. Started to use that. All right, I'm gonna do the pH test. Now, according to this, these goldfish are good around uh, 7.5. So around here, not, not over here to 7.0, but actually 7.5. So uh, my pH is always off. I have to keep adding the pH up to try and bring it up to at least a little beyond this. Maybe around 7.2 is okay, but uh, apparently 7.5 is better. I got the pH here to do the test. Let's give it a shot, pretty easy. Three drops. Three drops. All right, let's get this the right way. I always have a little trouble with this. One. Two. Three. Three magic drops. All you gotta do is put the Gee, it's hard to hold the phone. A few flips should get the color right. Now, check it out. According to this, I'm about, let me see here. I got it. Let's get the chart out here. Got the chart. And Put the tube there. All right. Uh, what color is that? What color is that? Oh boy, I look too light. I look way too light. Look at that. I'm probably around 6.8, 7.0. Not too good. 
take a little bit of my pH up. Here's my good friend there. Put him on camera. That's, that's the fish that gave, gives me the least trouble. This one's always getting stuck in the stuck in the plants and sometimes floating up on his belly too. This one's always giving me no trouble at all. He's slow eating food though. I, I think their, their big eyes make it harder for them to see. Kind of ironic that they have those big eyes and yet have trouble seeing. I use my syringe my wife gave me to get about the right amount pH up put about 3.5 in there give a shoot give him a shoot one do one more I'm gonna give him two whole shoots I know because it's it's way down I'll test it again tomorrow, and I will uh, check it out. Now they say you give uh, too much at once, could stress them. Uh, somebody might say you already gave too much at once. Well, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Now, let me get my... I'm gonna test my ammonia now. Now, this tank is cycled, so the ammonia should be pretty good. Tank is cycled. Ammonia should be pretty good at this point. Ammonia's a little more involved, testing it. So what I do is, where is this? Got my ammonia solution one, and my ammonia bottle two solution. So you need two solutions. Got this one and this one. Gotta give eight drops of this one, and then you gotta give eight drops of that one. Uh, let me get that ready. I can't hold the camera, I'll mess this up, so I'll do it this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, woohoo! Almost had nine in there in accident. You didn't see the action because I can't hold the camera at the same time. And I'm gonna put, I said I did eight drops of solution one. Got it in there. I'm gonna do eight drops solution two. Okay, I'll do this one on camera. Okay, gotta hold it the right way. Don't wanna mess up. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, and two more. Seven, eight. Right. This is a little different from my ministry videos, doing a ministry for the goldfish, meeting the needs of the goldfish this time. Jesus met people's needs, I'm meeting the needs of the goldfish. The Bible says, the righteous man considers the life of his beast. Okay, now I do a quick shake according to the rules, quick shake for five minutes, no five seconds. One, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. There you go. Now you gotta wait. You gotta wait about five minutes. That's a long wait. And uh, and then I gotta test the color. Now you want it to be yellow. For the ammonia, you want zero. You don't want any ammonia in there. Don't want no ammonia in there. So I'm gonna wait about five minutes. Let's see, how am I gonna know? Well, I, this video is approximately 9.55. 9 minutes 55 seconds 
So I'll just wait, go by that. I'll just go roughly by 15 minutes. And then I'll know that uh, that is the, then I'll know what the color should be, what the color is and how my ammonia level is. Now I expect, unless I messed up with the drops, and I don't think I did, but you know, I don't usually do the drops at the same time as holding the camera. But I expect that the drops, I put them in the right way. Let me put a cap on that one. All right, cap that up. Got my caps on right. Boom. Yeah, like I said, I had that other filter and I had terrible experiences with it. I don't know what it was. I have no idea what it was. I had that other filter and the fish died immediately. And those fish were a couple of years old, a few years old that died. Couldn't figure it out. It kept dying, dropping like flies when I changed the filter. And I think none of these fish are from that original the batch. It's very strange. Same company, this Marine Land filter is the same company as the other one. But I don't know what it was. And then after a while the water didn't look right anymore. The water was never clear. My brother gave me this one. I've, things have been going well so far. I hope I hope they continue to go well by the grace of God. So this is what I add. This right here, hopefully will stay yellow. It's yellow now. All right. Pretty yellow anyway. Hope it don't start turning green. And definitely looks yellow to me at this point. Looks nice and yellow to me at this point. Oh, nice. I know that the camera's not really picking that up, but it looks, it looks the right color at this point. While I'm waiting there, I'll read you a Bible verse. This is a ministry YouTube channel, and I'm telling you about uh, goldfish. <laughs> but uh, what was that verse? Let's see if I can find it. I think it's in. I think it's in Proverbs. I think it's in Proverbs. I hope I'm not wrong in making a mistake. Yes, here it is. Proverbs 12. And verse number 10, a righteous man regards the life of his animal, but the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. So a righteous man regards the life of his animal. And I have been trying to take these goldfish very seriously. I'm trying to take care of this one. You see this? He's, he's floating up on his belly again. I've been giving him a diet of peas but he's still doing it. This, this fish is about four or five years old, and I think he started developing this problem, and I always thought it was peas that would be the, the, the cure for the problem, and for a while it worked. And I've only been feeding him peas now. And he's still doing that. And I'm not sure what to do. He, he'll do it for a while, and then as the day goes on, he'll come down, but this one does it too sometimes. And I've been giving them peas. I was giving them these before, which was sink. You know, these pellets sink. Yeah, they sink to the, the bottom. So I thought the problem was originally the flakes that were floating at the top. And um, so that they were getting up air, breathing in air, and taking in too much air when they went for the flakes. So I get these. So these sink, but this one still has the problem. Now, if you have any idea what to do about that, should I stop feeding them for a couple of days? I don't know. I, I've been giving them peas only. Like I said, the black one's the only one with no problem. The other one's giving me problems. This one is pretty good. Well, he's good now, but he, he sometimes he's floating up there too on his belly. And this one, this one is, uh, okay, what am I? I'm almost there. Let's see. Oh, nice. Color looks great. Oh, beautiful. Nice yellow color, the way you want it tank is cycled. The tank is cycled, uh, which means, you know, the, um, 
It's been about, they say it takes about four to six weeks for the tank to cycle. So I'm okay with my levels. And you can tell the tank is cycle because the ammonia is right on spot, right on the spot. I do water changes every now and then. And I just did one today, so the water's cloudy. And uh, there I go there. All right, so that's it. Thanks for watching.